Hello, my dear global family. So happy to meet everybody online here alive. As uh, we are doing uh, 560th meeting, praying for peace 2027, uh, doing concrete uh, jobs with uh, 120 countries, uh, 300 peace ambassadors, um, and moving the world, uh, uh, helping children and people in need. Uh, we are working to share the God word in this global prayer chain and accelerate uh, ultimate global peace to finish it by 2027. There were so many miracles uh, with uh, us at our meeting uh, as we are long meeting so long. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and share this message to billions as uh, this is really a message to billions. Uh, it has uh, the key from God through the Messiah's incoming, only God's son, only God's daughter, uh, how to build substantial peace in the uh, Middle East, in Eastern Europe, and all other 32 hotspots on the planet, what is now. How to finish all of this, uh, how to make agreements. Everything is done, everything is ready, just uh, all 8 billion plus people supposed to fulfill their predestination. Unite with the Messiah, simple, from simple people to presidents, everybody, especially elites, business elites, uh, politicians and uh, scientists, uh, all of us. Uh, and also, most important, 1% of population of believers, of those who lead uh, the God's word as preaching, they're supposed to unite to the Messiah and uh, uh, Pass the word of God and blessing, healing, salvation, uh, to attract uh, prosperity and uh, true love to any human being and family. Okay. We will go now with the um, quotes. And then, uh, uh, first with the songs and then quotes, powerful quotes from Messiah and Gaming, and then we will we'll start the forum, so uh, let's sing along.
okay, okay, okay. So powerful song for today. Uh, let's uh, go now with the quotes. Hence, at the second advent, the Lord comes with the responsibility to become a perfect Adam and complete the mission of the Messiah. Once he became the perfect Adam, he is responsible to complete the family, tribe, people, nation, and world in keeping with the role of the true Adam. Time uh, and again in history, God sent central figures on earth and worked through them to establish one absolute nation, yet time at the time, the people were unable to succeed. Nevertheless, the history of restoration continues as God endeavors to find righteous people. He seeks people through whom he can advance and fulfill this task. We must therefore be grateful to God, even if he has to sacrifice each of us, and even if he has um, to sacrifice our families, tribe, people, and nations. Only when individuals and nations of righteousness emerge can new world come into being. It does not matter how much individuals have sacrificed in the past until God's nation is established. Sacrifices on the path of individuals and in the families, tribe, people, nations, and the world will have to continue. Our mission, dear members, what is your purpose for being alive on earth today? It is to love the nation and the world. God's purpose also has been to love the nation and the world. However, if you remain citizen of the nation without sovereignty, we are pitiful. Uh, that is why Jesus said, therefore, do not worry uh, saying, what will we eat uh, or what we will drink or what we will wear for it is the gentlest who strive for all these uh, things and indeed you heavenly father knows that you need all these things but strive first for the kingdom of god and his righteousness and uh, all these things will be given to you as well God said Jesus on earth as his uh, incarnation uh, representative representing the heavenly lineage to the fallen humankind. In other words, Jesus uh, was the first person to come to earth whom he could fulfill the hope of God has nurtured throughout the history. Four thousand years after Adam, God raised Jesus on earth as his uh, the true seed who grew up in the family of Joseph, a Jewish family. Yet Satan, having already established entire nations, was attacking the heavenly side. Therefore, the heavenly side also needed a firm foothold on the national level. The fruit of God's toil for 4,000 years was this one nation, within the evil world heaven toilet to prepare israel for that purpose dear members jesus came to earth in search of god's nation he came on in search of one nation yet due to the disbelief of israel and judaism uh, he could not establish that uh, nation we he came to establish a nation on the physical as well on the spiritual level except he could only establish a spiritual kingdom therefore christianity today still does not have a substantial physical nation uh, on its own on earth this means god does not have a nation on earth he can call his beloved homeland he does not have a citizenry he can call his beloved, beloved citizen. The foundation for God's kingdom had not yet been established on earth. Okay, this was the quotes for today. Uh, let's read a little bit uh, more. Dear and blessed families, humanity has entered an era after the coming of heaven. When we are receiving heavenly fortune anew, in front of the new heaven and new earth, 
the word is of disbelief and betrayal that has troubled the youth uh, is withdrawing. In the fifth year of Channel Gook, spring is coming, and soon it will be in full bloom. The time has come for all blessed families to arise with firm resolution. Let us fulfill our providential responsibility to unite all six billion, now eight billion people of the world into one family. Okay, this is so powerful quotes, and this is what we are doing. We are uniting all people of the world into one family. Okay, let's go now with the global forum and invite our sister Irina. Irina, can you pray now? Uh, Irina, happy welcome. Can you pray now? Or let's invite Ernest. Usually there in Africa is poor internet. Uh, let's try one more time to invite. Mm -hmm. Uh, 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 okay. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Happy welcome, dear hello. Irina. Can you say a powerful prayer for yes. peace? Yes, yes, please. Sorry. Network problems. Sometimes it goes off and then it comes back on. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So let us pray. We want to thank you, our Heavenly Father, our Heavenly Mother, for this day. We want to thank you for the readings and the lecture that we've had today. Very powerful. God's plan for us, mankind. We want to thank you for everything that you have given us today. And we pray that, Father, where we have done wrong, forgive us as usual. You are a forgiving God. Your nature is goodness and forgiveness. So we want to also adapt that nature from you so that we may be able to learn how to forgive those people who have wronged us. But above all, to forgive ourselves, our internal sins, so that we may be pure in heart. Our beloved heavenly parents, you brought so many people on earth to teach us your word and to make us understand your will. We want to thank you for that. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the Islamic leader. We thank you for the leaders in the East the Tao, the Buddha, the Sikh, the Confucian, Sim, Father, all of them, we thank you for them. We thank you, Father, for the spiritualists who have come on earth, many of them warning us to prepare ourselves. And even in this era, there are many people who are giving us messages of goodness. But of all those people who are giving us good messages, we have found out that those who are telling us about building a peaceful world are indeed the best that we can do on earth. Because at this time, we need peace. Therefore, we want to pray for all the founders, the, especially the founders of peace, family, peace, nation, peace, world, peace, media, father, they are giving us a word that will bring us closer to you and make this world a better place. So we want to listen to them. And especially recently, it was declared by a true mother that we should have peace by the year 2025, latest 2027. And we are yeah, listening to you, listening to the people whom you send and listening for your advice so that we may achieve this very noble goal of achieving peace on earth. Peace means all religions unite, all politicians unite, all races unite, all humanity becomes real humanity. So we pray for those people where there was, Father, let them stop because we've already had the call for peace where there's disunity. We pray that they unite because we've had the call for peace in families, let there be unity and, and the togetherness because we have got the call for peace in these days. Thank you, Father, for today. 
Thank you for all the brothers and sisters who come here to do and hear that call for peace in this world. I want to pray most sincerely, reporting as Elena Rutanje of the Rutanje Blessed Central Family. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Amen, amen. Yeah, thank you very much, Irina. So powerful prayer. Thank you. Thy will be done. <laughs> yes, yeah, will be, be done. <laughs> okay, please join my prayer too. As we are meeting this uh, global prayer chain. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, we are so happy to meet you alive here. We meet our substantial Heavenly Father, Heavenly Mother, uh, Heavenly Parents uh, as uh, this is the so providential time that we are living and we see everything around, so many miracles, technology, development, everything is just, just so accelerating day by day, but uh, soon will be impossible to make sin and will be build, finish building kingdom because already kingdom is start is not just in within us is not just around us is already substantial kingdom done dear Heavenly parent i came here uh, your son nikolai to pray for peace for all eight billion plus people on the earth for salvation blessing and healing for peace in middle east and uh, eastern europe and uh, all globally and uh, not just the land you invite our brothers and sisters and i pray for all of them I pray for uh, Ernest uh, in uh, Burundi, for Irina in uh, Uganda, for Amos in Gabon. And there was uh, so many more brothers and sisters uh, who are uh, in uh, all other continents, uh, uh, Heavenly Asia, Heavenly Europe, uh, Heavenly Americas, uh, uh, Australia. We just uh, finished a, a, a meeting with the Australia and we pray for peace together. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, really the light came from the East. Uh, as you send the signs and coming, um, uh, only God's son, only God and daughter, uh, through parents, they are built Heavenly Kingdom already. It's just uh, uh, done as we see, read the quotes just right now, and remain just for all 8 billion plus people to fulfill their predestination, uh, really to fulfill their life goal to build peace. This is the mission of the generation. It's not what... Uh, uh, we are seeing the news, all of these strikes and the uh, separation, but uh, how our sister was praying, we need unity. There is thousands uh, and uh, millions of organizations and people and stars working for peace, but there is not yet peace uh, because we are not united. We are supposed to unite together and uh, uh, go against evil forces, not against uh, of uh, uh, people the same uh, uh, same race, same same. Uh, uh, same, same uh, human, humankind. Uh, uh, we are all humankind, one great family of God under the same heavenly parent. So we're supposed to understand. Uh, we're supposed uh, to not uh, harm each other, but uh, help each other, help each other, and this will change uh, the culture. And this is actually changing already the culture. Uh, millions of families already received Messiah's incoming blessing for marriage and they establishing uh, true families and they go on and despite all of these difficulties that is around uh, financial and others uh, go on and on and on and we pray for all these families all of these pioneers uh, as as they, they are just like uh, um, uh, like pioneers, like uh, um, Jesus' uh, disciples, like uh, Messiah's disciples, and leading the providence. Uh, let them flourish. Give them blessing in every continent, in every country. Uh, help them to fulfill their uh, mission and uh, witness to other brothers and sisters. Give them, pass the blessing. Dear family parent, uh, we are here and uh, today's topic, we are uh, working uh, globally interreligiously to unite uh, uh, different religions and uh, just uh, now we pray with the uh, catholic church and the um, before this meeting uh, in the australia and also with other all other churches uh, with uh, archbishop eugene 
Вот бишоп Нельсон, мы молимся за них, и также за поп или религиозные фигуры. Они должны получить Мессия Сагамин глобально. And uh, also politicians, uh, elites, uh, business elites, uh, all other elites, uh, um, especially these uh, elites uh, of the interfaith, uh, uh, there are of different faiths, uh, they supposed to receive Messiah coming urgently and uh, move this God's providence because it's coming the providence uh, uh, and direction from God directly through the Messiah coming substantially. Dear Heavenly Parent, lead us, lead us every day, every hour, every second. I really pray for all brothers and sisters here. I pray for brothers and sisters who watch this video, who share this video. And also, uh, I pray with all my heart uh, that we could unite all humanity, all 8 billion and fulfill our predestination. And, and, and then we need just to, to make this global prayer chain uh, more quickly, uh, doing every day at 7 p.m. praying at least one minute to move the providence, join hand in hands. Please receive this short report this uh, day as a pure offering. I pray and my name is Nikolai Kerpalas and bless family. Adieu, amen, amen, amen. Yeah, thank you very much, Ernest. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Irina. Thank you very much, uh, thank Amos. You. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. Thank pray you. for you. Bye-bye, Ernest. Yeah, bye-bye, uh, Amos. Bye-bye, all the best. Bye-bye. 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 Yeah, African spirit. <laughs>